We are gonna go to Target and possibly Hobby Lobby and a couple other places if he lets me. He also is gaining weight, which is awesome. We, we weighed him yesterday and he's eating so much more. He is a huge yogurt buff. Like he will eat you out of the house if you have yogurt. He's pretty much like trying everything now. I was getting concerned because the first night we did finger foods, he was eating amazing and then like as the days were going on like he didn't want anything to do with food he didn't want to eat he would let you feed him sweet potatoes but that was pretty much it come to find out it was the teething so he just wasn't interested in food and i know like that's what like i know in my heart why he's having trouble gaining for a while too so yeah he's eating he's gaining everything is good yesterday we were having our dining room table delivered we ordered it from rooms to go it is beautiful the window to wait was like 11 to 2 they didn't show up until like 5.30 at night. Yesterday was Friday, obviously. So I was not very happy with that. Like already we had to wait from 11 to two, which is not a huge window, who cares? That's usually his nap time anyway, which was freaking me out too. So I was like, oh great. Then when they go three hours over, now you are asking like, that is a big deal. Like there's, there's no reason to ask for people to wait at home for that long. We waited until 5.30 at night. My sister came over and then we all ended up getting Chinese food. We took a walk around the lake, just ended up having a good night. It's not like it totally ruined the day, but it was like, it was Friday. I wanted to get out of the house, you guys. Like I don't get out of the house pretty much ever. So like when I can get out of the house, it's like, I need to. What happened, but the table is beautiful. My husband is not a huge fan. He loves the table itself, but I, I don't know if it's because I come from a very tall family because I'm tall. I don't know what the reasoning is, but I love counter height tables. I think they're beautiful. Probably don't appeal to a lot of people, but I love them. Not bar height, but counter height. We got it explained to us the difference. I really love counter height tables. I think they're beautiful. If you guys have ever seen my kitchen, which you guys have, but you guys probably you know didn't even notice, it's a counter height table. It's, it's tall and it's just what we've had. It's what I'm used to. It's it's we loved it. Like as soon as we saw it, we like loved it. Well, for some reason, my husband, like he totally wanted the counter height until it got in our house. And the way our house is set up is kind of strange. Like our formal living room, which family room, whatever you call it, the one that you don't really sit in a lot, that one has like a huge sectional now. <coughs> I think I'm eating makeup. The huge sectional that you guys are used to seeing me sitting on, the brown one, that one is going into that room. And we already have like half of it in there and then we have the other half in our living room now where we're sitting now until our new sectional comes in. But anyway, I guess the way it's set up, he feels like it feels funky because we have the living room and then the dining room is literally within like the same four walls. And so I think it makes him feel funny seeing like the a couch, which is, you know, low and then seeing a tall table, I guess just kind of makes him feel a little mixed up. And you guys will see once I have it situated, I'll do more of like room tours and stuff for you. But he's not the biggest fan of it, which really breaks my heart because I'm obsessed with it. I cannot wait. I've never had a formal dining table. My parents did. His parents, like, when I lived with my parents, they have one. When I lived with his parents, they had one. But when we lived in our apartment, we obviously didn't have one. When we lived in our old house, we didn't have one. We just had our normal kitchen table. So now it's so nice to have a formal living table that, like, we can entertain at. I'm so excited. I finally have a home I can entertain in. And... You guys have no idea how much that like means. I cannot wait. We used to get made fun of a lot in our old house because we never had people come over. We never entertained. I don't think like we ever invited people over for dinner unless it was like his parents and it was just kind of on a whim. Otherwise, we never entertained there. You guys know. It just wasn't, I don't know. It really was never for us. It was something to be very proud of and be very thankful for and blessed, but it was just never like, 
it wasn't our dream home the area just nothing about it was really what we wanted got our house painted not this room yet still the rest of the house has been and when we first were getting it painted I was not a fan of the color it had a very strong cast of blue and I wanted gray not gray green not gray purple not gray blue i wanted gray the color that my husband picked out because i was just so run down like i've been so just tired now i'm feeling good now that he's taking naps and he's done with his teething stage and all of that i'm feeling good and now i know how to tackle it i'm still breastfeeding so i know you guys are so tired of hearing that but i am so a lot of the responsibility goes on to me because i'm the one feeding him in this and that i just have been really run down and did not care to pick out colors so he picked out the colors and at first i was like oh but then like now it is growing on me so much i like i was telling him i think what ended up happening is i was so used to such a warm house all the houses we have lived in actually ever since my my parents house my parents had like white walls very light colored walls every other place we've lived has had like a yellow color wall um brown very earthy tones that's what i was always used to that's what my eyes were used to that's what i liked even and now i wanted something different so seeing blue was like a shock almost like i feel like it was a shock and then plus we in we fact we still do have like brown walls in certain areas that aren't done we still have some of the yellow so like going from room to room it was hard like i was like it was such a shock, so I didn't love it. I am obsessed. I love it. Finally gonna start editing. Went ahead and made myself a nice coffee. This has the Starbucks coffee grounds that you can get at Costco with the, what is it, Tarani vanilla bean syrup. Did not realize it was sugar-free until I got home, but I wasn't gonna return it. I was obviously just gonna use it, so it is the sugar-free one, but I much prefer like the real syrup. Anytime it's sugar-free, the, the chemicals that they put in it is like worse for you than just taking the extra calories and fat so i don't recommend getting skinny drinks and then we have the bailey's irish cream creamer i think it's from um, international delight in here it is so amazing it's so good So I'm working on getting my little one down. I did not go to Target or Starbucks. As soon as my little one woke up, my mom texted, asked what we were doing. So she came over as soon as he woke up and we have been hanging out here ever since. My brother came over with my niece. So all of us were just kind of hanging out. I haven't even had lunch. It's now like five o'clock and I am really, really hungry, but I'm hoping my little guy goes down. He did eat. I gave him lunch and he ate a lot. But I think his teeth are messing with him again because he's been having his fingers in his mouth a lot. It's a beautiful day out. I cannot wait until everything is done being painted so like it really feels like home and then we have a new couch in here. Oh, I'm so excited. It will like feel like a brand new home. Little man won the nap war. Yeah. So he won. No nap for him, which is fine because at least he's in a good mood. If he wasn't in a good mood, this would be a different story. So I want to show you guys my dining table. So you can see little man coming towards us. This is our dining table. Do not mind all this stuff. That's got to go. But this is our new dining table. I think it is beautiful. It is counter height, so it is a little bit taller, but I think it looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous with our new paint color. This is an accent wall. You can't really tell on camera, I guess, but this wall is a little bit darker. Now you can tell like the two different colors and then that's the color it used to be, obviously. I cannot wait to get like a runner on here and get placemats and everything on here. I am obsessed. Oh no, 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 no. You found your friend? Yeah? You found your friend? You can turn it on. You got the vacuum on. Uh, so yeah, that is our new dining table. I am so happy that this is the paint color now. <sighs> Look how much brighter, like, my videos are gonna look so much more beautiful now having this wall color but like look at this versus that you see what i mean so i got my little one down these are the paint colors that we're painting our bedroom the first two were the wrong colors they ended up not doing it right these are the two that my bedroom will be so the wall that's behind me will be this color and then the rest of the wall will be that color but anyway i just wanted to hop on here and say for any new mom I know that the beginning days are hard and I know you may feel like you're never gonna sleep again and you're never gonna be out of pain and you're never gonna be normal again. 
I know. <laughs> and if you're not going through that, consider yourself extremely blessed because it's very rare not to feel that way. I was just sitting here and was just looking at the baby monitor and was like, I am so thankful that I got sleep again, that I have a routine, that I'm not in pain anymore, that I'm able to continue breastfeeding, I'm able to raise my son and be the mom to him that I've wanted to be. I am so thankful that it's getting easier. That doesn't mean that it's easy because it's far from it and I think it will always be far from it. But I am thankful that it does get easier with time. I'm able to sleep again. My little guy sleeps through the night and at the beginning, you don't feel like that's gonna happen, but it is coming for you. If anyone can tell you that I felt like my life was never gonna be the same and I would never feel like myself again and I completely lost myself and I would always be in pain and I would never have enough sleep, it was me. I never in a million years, I just did not think that I was gonna ever be myself again. I thought I was always gonna be in pain. I thought I was always gonna be injured. I thought I was always gonna have lack of sleep and I struggled with that big time. But I want to let you new moms know, it does get easier, it does get better sleep is coming your baby's gonna sleep through the night your baby is going to either learn how to latch you're gonna change to formula something is gonna make things better for you and you're not always gonna be sad or in pain or afraid or losing sleep normal your new normal which is close to your old normal in a way is coming so just be patient and just know that it takes time i just got done pumping and so I just want to hop on here and say hello to you guys. My husband is out. I don't know. He's around somewhere. Don't you bite my nose, boy. You got six teeth. You're choking me out. You're choking me out. Ow. You're so mean.
Why are you yelling at me? Yeah, it's just hanging on that hook right now. It might take me to a broken. It's like this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> 